Hi, welcome back. Here in this practical exercise, we would be learning multiple keywords and terms. We would be using this super keyword and pass values with object and would associate between two different entities. So let's start with this program. Let us first write the class, declare the class. Then have different, we could have different methods or arguments with this class. Which that we displayed here. With this super keyword, as such things could be called. Here we have the car class having a variable called a car name called a string, car ID of type int. We have the constructor car with the same name as uh, the class. It has two different variables, name and ID. It is a parameterized constructor having two different parameters or variables, name and ID here. We could have a uh, access, we could pass the value from the constructor to the variable class variables using this keyword. This dot car name is the car name variable of the class car. However, the name is the instance or the value that is being passed through the constructor. So we can assign this thing. This is the usage of this keyword. Similarly, we have another class driver that extends from this car class or inherits a car. Here we have a string called driver name. We have a constructor, which is also parameterized constructor for the driver class, having two different arguments, a name, C name, and the third argument, a CID. We could also create multiple constructors for the same class each having different number of uh, variables and uh, that could be zero number of variables more and more two four and anything uh, with different return types here we also use the uh, another keyword that is super we could access the super method using other uh, super for the super class a c name and c id we pass the car name and car id to the super method and access the driver name or pass the value. Now let us create the main class. I create a main method, public static void main, a string ARGS. Then create an object for the class. By just simply writing the class name, their driver, object OBJ. Object is the object OBJ is the object of driver class, and let us pass a different set of values directly from this class name. It will be initiated to the constructor. The values will be passed to the constructor. The driver constructor has three arguments. First is type of integer, second is integer, and third is a uh, sorry, first is a string, second is a string, and third is integer. So the first two are strings, uh, name, and the car name, the person's name and the car name, the storage, our BMW, and then we, are, we have the car ID, 2248, it is being passed. Then we call the system or print and method, it will display the name of the driver by using the driver name, uh, from the object, you could access that thing directly and the driver name is being called. Similarly, we could access the car ID directly from here. We have to make this uh, main class public and then we can execute this thing. There are a few errors here. The car ID has not been identified. We have to place a semicolon, I think. 
Uh, semicolon with separate. When we have the same type of uh, return type, we could use this thing. Uh, it is running. Suraj is the driver of the car. ID two two four eight. It is being displayed. Here we have the use the super constructor or super method. Use the this keyword to access uh, the current variable of the class. The class variable. And we can use the object of the child to access the parent class. Try building your own solution. Uh, use these keywords and this super or more when you have the inheritance or object-oriented programming approach.